Hey guys, so I'm back today with another video and this video is going to be an explanation video explaining what not to do when bleaching natural hair. So what you need is some bleach, some developer, an applicator bowl, and an applicator as well as some petroleum jelly. Now in the course of this video, the one thing that I actually did do right was add the petroleum jelly around my hairline. Now pay attention to the video, whenever you see the video pause, that is going to be me interjecting, telling you guys whether what I did or did not do was correct or not. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and you can learn something from my mistake. So here basically I'm just pouring the bleach into a bowl and I'm going to take some 40 volume developer, which is what you don't do. Just because the higher the volume does not mean that the color or the bleach is going to make your hair brighter. Please learn this from my mistake that this 40 vellum developer is not the type of strength you need. You could use a 10 or 20 vellum developer and get almost the exact same result. So what I'm doing now is I'm just pouring more of that 40 volume developer that I did not need into the bowl and I'm trying to get a creamy consistency. And once you get your creamy consistency, it should look something like this. And now I'm just going to add the bleach to my hair. And this is just me showing you a 360 view of what my hair looked like before applying the bleach. So I'm going to interject once again. Do not just slap the bleach on your hair like it's a relaxer or pull it through like I was doing. That is what you don't do. So I've got about halfway through my hair and um, the way I'm just doing it basically as y'all saw from the previous clip is I'm just parting it. I'm sorry I can't really see but I'm just parting it and then with the applicator just applying the bleach to my hair. And now for the back part I'm just going to like split it in half and then just apply a gloss of bleach. It's been about 20 minutes since I've had this on my hair, so I'm about to let it set for about 15 more minutes and then hopefully the remainder of my red will be gone and we can continue on with the bleaching whole process and whatnot. So stay tuned. Okay, so it's been another 15 minutes and hopefully this red is gone because I heard that red is stubborn. So let's see, let me peel one back. Oh, it's still in there. Well, I'm gonna wash this out and I may, I didn't want to, but I may have to end up bleaching it a second time to get this out. See you guys once I wash this out. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to be like so honest with you. This is probably like breaking the YouTube code, but I don't care. If I can help somebody, I want to help them. So, I'm rinsing my hair out and I'm feeling like, where are my curls? I don't feel my curls. Anywho, so I'm panicking because I know that bleach um, definitely loosens your curls. I don't care what anybody says, bleach loosens your curls if you're not getting it done professionally clearly I'm not a professional I don't know what I'm doing maybe if you get it from a professional maybe your curls won't loosen but my curls have always loosened every time I bleached my hair so because I ble I used to bleach the tips like the little red tip that I had that was previously bleached that is now straight look at my hair y'all I have straight ends, straight, they're not even like an ounce of curly, and I'm about to freak out, like I'm about to just like cut off this straightness, and yeah, oh my gosh, my hair is coming up so orange on this camera, y'all, I'm like freaking out. This is what you don't do. Okay, y'all? If you previously have bleached your hair, don't bleach it again. 
clearly I had to learn that. So this video is going to go up as a what you don't do when you bleach your hair because this is an epic fail. For those of you wondering why it's so orange in the back, it's orange in the back simply because my hair is like more virgin hair in the back opposed to the front so that's why it's orange and once again this is just a video showing you that this is what you don't do okay okay so i hope you guys have learned something from this video i hope that um you've taken something from this video and that i have informed you on the hazardness that bleach can do to your natural hair so if you like this video like it remember to rate comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys Yeah, that's not bad at all. Versus them coming from China, take two gallons. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is strong. I'm not about to let this touch my scalp. Oh crap, it's on my side, so. Oh. You from the color green? No. I'm gonna do the lavender. We're just gonna have to be twins. Hope you don't mind. No, because um, you like a natural hair, I'm not. Oh. Well, excuse me. Mine is like a pale lavender. I had bought the hair Thursday oh. when I was by your daddy's station. It's a, a beauty supply still, like, Woo. the same lava. Uh-huh. Oh, my gosh. I'm about to do that dance again. This crap is burning. It's like the bleach. Did. Oh, my God. I can't. I gotta take it off. Oh, I can't. It's not even the ends. Oh gosh, I left this recording.